Thank you, Jake. Great to see that outpouring. Yeah. Some Cincinnati commuters are wondering, have they been skipped in line? That's right. The city approved an infrastructure project to help FC Cincinnati's bid for a new stadium. You're well aware of that. But many of you called us, even on the Feedback Friday hotline, after the vote, wondering about mm -hmm. the Western Hills Viaduct. Mm -hmm. Were you skipped? Well, nine on your sides. Brianna Malloy heard from Mayor Cranley, who addressed these concerns today. Brianna, what'd they say? That's right. Well, there was one message that Mayor Cranley was definitely trying to get across, and that was, Westside, we haven't forgotten about you. Lori Brickner drives to work every day on the Western Hills Viaduct. We're heading onto the lower deck, um, a ton of orange barrels, and it just does not look uh, real safe. She believes this should be the city's main priority, not just because of her commute, but because of the public's safety. To worry about driving downtown and going over the viaduct and maybe something falling on their car that came off the bridge. But is the viaduct a top priority? If that project is done to accommodate a new stadium before any work is done on the Western Hills Viaduct, I absolutely think that that's, they've cut in and that's wrong. Mayor Cranley says it is a priority. And it has to get built. It will get built. At today's press conference, he announced that the city will allocate $33 million from the capital budget to improve the viaduct, a move that will make it easier to qualify for more funding from the state. You know, there's a line of projects around the state. In order to advance in that line, you got to have a local match in place. So the more that we have the local match in place, the better. On the county side, County Commissioner Todd Portoon has the same message. As infrastructure, major infrastructure projects go, the number one priority is the Western Hills Viaduct. The county has already committed to raising their portion of the money with a $5 license fee. But it could take years before lawmakers are able to secure the full $330 million needed for repairs. There's not a single stone that we don't turn over looking for money that we can bring to bear on, on the project. As for Brickner, she hopes the construction starts sooner than later and that in the meantime, her windshield isn't hit next. You'd like to think that you were driving on a safe road, but um, I think the fact of the matter is it's not safe for long. And Mayor Cranley said that the $33 million to fund the viaduct will come from the capital budget. He said this won't raise taxes and the council will vote on funding options in January. You can learn more about the processes behind Cincinnati's infrastructure projects at WCPO.com. All right, Brianna, thank you for the latest there. Meanwhile, we are following some breaking.